It's Main Event Friday, and that means the classic Preview the Finale match. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, at AWL 340, the season 17 finale, this man will be challenger and champion. The following trios contest is taken for one fall. Introducing first, the trios combination of the Arab American dream, Hassan. Joining the legacy, El Hio del Magico. And the reigning and wrestling league, Intercontinental Champion, Together they are The World Army allowing Kid Canada to take the lead and he's the complete Intercontinental Champion. Five successful title defenses, he holds all the cards. He will challenge for the Grand Championship. He will do so at the finale and he will do so under stipulations of his choosing. So he has yet to announce what those stipulations will be. And he's gonna go up against this man who believes, well, the master of this man believes, that the challenger is not worthy of even laying eyes upon the Grand Championship. And their opponents, the trio's combination of Project Tetsu, Project Z, and the reigning anime wrestling league. The Project Tetsu, Project Z, and now the field commander of the team, Jigoku Destroy. The actual Dr. Jigoku conspicuous by his absence, I've no idea where he is, except for the fact, of course, there are no managers in a trios match because technical limitations of a video game. By the way, I don't know if anyone else saw the preview or the, the, the open first video of the AEW video game. Just saying. Anyway, as Kid Canada looks to be starting us off here. Yep. And he's going to be facing the Grand Champion one-on-one. -on -one. This is your preview of the main event of the season finale. And we're off. Bang a gong. We are on. And Bulldog. A good old-fashioned Canadian Bulldog. Are Bulldogs famous in Canada? I don't know yet. And a twist to the head by Kid Kennedy. He's got the Grand Champion off his feet. Of course, the title not on the line in a trios match. Obviously, it's a singles title. Don't be silly. But... An opportunity here to make a statement to prove that Kid Canada can rise to the challenge that 10 wrestlers have failed to. Now, wait a minute, a little bit of a shot there from Hassan on the outside. The Arab American Dream has got to be happy with the salvation of the country. And going back, Kid Canada in trouble now. This is where you start to see the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Cross body block completely denied by the Grand Champion. Now that he's got his legs about him, I suppose you could say. One minute in, and this is the type of match Kid Canada is going to have to have. He's going to have to wear his opponent down. What stipulations will he choose? It could be a cage match. It could be a two out of three falls match. It could be a hardcore match. It could be a, a phantom rope match. It could be pretty much anything. Kid Canada has the power, that is the power granted to the complete Intercontinental Champion as our second generation competitor, El Hio del Magicu, the son of Magicu, is what that literally means. The Shining Legacy taking it to the Grand Champion here. There's also something to be considered, a victory over Jigoku Destroyed. That's a major win, even if it's in a non-title match, even if it's in a trios context. You beat the Grand Champion, that means something here in the AWL. That could get you a potential future title shot, uh, no matter who the champion is. That could get you a berth in the New Year's Tournament. It's almost January, we're looking at the New Year's Tournament coming down the pipe. As the Grand Champion doing damage here. Vertical, reverse vertical suplex. 
Pick him up, put him down, make it hurt. Of course, the 20 count in effect on the outside here. Referees count up to 10 of 20. Standard Japanese wrestling rules applying here in the AWL. 20 count on the outside. Blow for blow here. And the height difference, the, the, the power difference, the bulk difference, not as bad as it looks. And the champion on spaghetti legs. The grand, and no, rolling in and out of the ring. That's going to break the count. We are back to one. El Pio Del Mastro has decided he wants to take this to the outside. And I think, I think that's a good strategy so far, but you go can destroy. Only gonna tolerate that for so long. Now the question is with the augments here, Jigoku, Dr. Jigoku, Jigoku Hakase is not here. So there's no brains of the outfit. There's nobody leading the charge. There's nobody dis determining the strategy for these monstrous augments, these bastardizations of the mad sciences. These cyborgs and robots and reanimated corpses that make up the team of the Augments. And we've now officially spent more time outside the ring than inside it. Getting up to another 10 count there. Jigoku Destroy about to make the tag in comes. The Dean of the Active Augments, the longest serving member of the team. And that is Project Tetsu. And going up, stepping over to a, a, a Boston Crab. Normally he would use the Tetsukani in a situation like this, but I guess not. And it did, wow! Uh, no Shining Legacy for you. As El Hiro Majiku, rookie mistake, turns his back on his opponent and suffers for it. His father should have taught him better. Back elbow. I'm sure, I'm sure Majiku taught El Hiro Majiku, never take your eyes off your opponent. But the heat of battle, yeah, you, you sometimes forget your fundamentals. It's pressure, it's nerves. And look at this, the boom! Military press slam by Jigoku, by Jigoku's first creation, at least of the current augments. Irish went back into the corner, lost my plot there. And the challenger, the challenger for the grand championship, now in the ring with a former grand champion. Of course, Kid Canada, a former grand champion Open in his own right. Open and ooh, Five minutes passed. he cashed in a golden opportunity to become so. Now he's going to cash in the AWL Intercontinental Championship and hopefully do the same. And another military press, but no, into a DDT. Beautiful counter. Excellent counter wrestling by Kid Canada and no tag for you. Leg snap by the challenger. What do we have here? Going for the twist. Boom! Removing the, uh, the arm from the socket, potentially. Though considering that uh, Project Tetsu, the Iron Project, is a cyborg, that could be easily repaired. Going up. Power slam! It's not pretty. But I promise you, that hurts. Cross body block. This time he's able to get it. Couldn't get it on the Grand Champion. Couldn't get it on the Dean of the Augments. Irish Whip back into the corner. Good job cutting the ring in half. We're going to see a tag. Kogeki. Yes, we are. A little alley oop. Cross body block. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Plenty of time going around the world. Jumon! Casting the Spell of La Mystica. A signature submission move of the family. I see Majiku and El Hiyo Majiku win with that submission move, but not this time going up. Reversal, inverted DDT. By the second generation, Shining Legacy, he's got, he's literally got his opponent on the ropes here, knee to the back, knee to the spine, if indeed he still has a spine. So many parts of these augments have been replaced, both internally and externally. Spine Buster with the metal arm. And that's the trick with this creature, this modern-day Frankenstein. 
the former Jack Butcher, now only known as Project Z, is that metal right hand of his is a very dangerous weapon, but he knows how to use his fleshy bits as well, and boom! He knows the punch knocks him down, the one that involved the right hand there. Roll back into the ring. Pinfalls, of course. Oh, wait a minute, what is it? Uh, oh, face first in a steel superstructure of the 20 by 20 foot AWL ring. And preventing a tag. Project Z, powerbomb suplex into the ropes. Oh God, and Kid Canada busted open. He may have landed on his eyes. Back, elbow, ma blood gonna be pooling under that mask now. That's gonna affect vision, that's gonna affect breathing. There's the kick, Irish whip back into the corner. Drop kick right to the face. And we're going up into a power, no. A simple alley-oop doesn't sit out for a power bomb. As Kid Canada, who has been bloodied and damaged, looking for a solution here, another Bulldog. He started the match with it, can he end the match with it? Not in this case, he's gonna end this segment of the match as he tags out and brings in the Arab American dream, Hassan. Irish whip into the corner. And there's the Lariat with about six minutes to go in the match. Tag made, and here comes the grand champion. Big boot right to the face of the American. Off of the ropes, on the ropes. This is not good. Big, oh God, knee lift out of the ring, down to the floor, and he crashed under the, under the, under the apron as well. Project Z, I think his batteries run dry. Hassan in huge trouble right now. But I know Hassan, I've known him for many years, a season zero original. He will fight back from nothing, and boom, Tiger suplex by the modern day Frankenstein, illegal attack. There's not much referee can do about it on the outside. Hassan, the legal fighter, Hassan in trouble, powerbomb. Sim oh, powerbomb into an elbow drop. Super Dragon, Super Dragon, 10 minutes, 10 minutes pass. We are 66.6% .6 of the way through the illegal time limit, the established time limit of this match. Oh, Mongolian chop. And a fireman's carry takeover by Hassan, able to at least get it back on his feet. Another headbutt, the metal half of the face, right to the nose. Four and a half minutes remain. And they've got to get back into the ring. But again, the ring itself being used as a weapon this time by Hassan. Seikai Gun bloodied and battered and damaged here. And this is all about building up momentum, building up experience. This is scouting. This is first-hand scouting of your opponent. Irish whip into the corner. And there's a tag. And we're back to champion and challenger. And what are we going to see here? Shades of T49P, the border cross at the 49th parallel. And where did it block? Oh, Uranagi. Three minutes, 30 seconds, and both champion and challenger down for the count right now. There's no, there's no, there's no 10 count in the ring under AWL rules. So I don't know why I said down for the count and there's no count. Going up, German going to go for the hat trick. Two, hat trick suplex, subtype, German. Three minutes, three minutes left. Oh great, and now all three of the augments coming in. What Jigoku calls the final experiment. Three monsters, three bastardizations of the mad sciences. With a triple powerbomb, that, whatever stipulations Kid Canada chooses, I'm assuming that will not be an option at the finale. One, two, no! 
Kid Canada digging deep, fighting spirit, kicking out. I, I genuinely thought that was the end of the match. And I think so did Jigoku Destroy. He's processing his computer, his CPU, gone haywire. This wasn't supposed to happen. It's, it's like the wrestling equivalent of a Kirk speech. And going up, what is this? Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki, and that's it, knockout, says the referee. Tatsumaki knockout. The final experiment, successful. At least it appeared so, check the referee. A little bit of an unplanned delay there by Project Tetsu may have been the difference. But right here, Isatsuaza, Tatsumaki. Take a look at it from another angle. Tatsumaki, if he can do that in the finale, it'll be 11 title Your defenses. Owner, Thank you for watching. This has been the Animated Wrestling League. We'll see you on Monday for AWL 338. Until then, I'm Ryu Sensei. Thank you for your patronage. Please like, share, subscribe, etc. Kore de Marida.